Hey, welcome back. I'm very excited that you're here. Today is a easy 20 minute functional flow. We're gonna be working a lot into our pelvis because a lot of the cues that I say, like tuck your tailbone under, we might have no like spatial awareness of what that means. So we're just going to get right into it, okay? So when you are ready, you will come to a seated position with your feet out in front of you and your hands behind you. And you're just gonna take a moment to lift your chest, push away from the ground, really feel your feet ground down and your hands connect to the earth. Take an inhale through your nose and then open your mouth, exhale. Inhale through your nose. Open your mouth, exhale. One more, inhale. Exhale, let it go. Just feeling more connected to your space and where you are. And then you're gonna take your knees over towards the right side. And then just move your leg back if that wasn't exactly knee to heel position. And then slowly switch it over towards the left. Slowly switch it over to the right. Over to the left. Now, as you do this, you might feel, well, maybe I can do this and I can reach one hand up. And I'm gonna rotate around and then reach the other hand up. Okay, and you're just going to go to your range and maybe eventually you do this with no hands. So you're doing the best that you can to keep your feet grounded as you roll around into each side. And if you're starting to creep forwards, that's normal. Just adjust yourself as needed onto your mat. And we're just warming up into our hips here. And now we're gonna end with our legs towards the right side. And now take your right hand to kind of be in front of your right shin and your left hand behind you and just pull your left hip back and then lift it back up. So we're not twisting our torso, we're just kind of framing our foot, pulling the hip back and then lifting it up. So this is kind of starting that tailbone tuck and lift. Tailbone tuck and lift. And if it helps, you can keep your hand on your hip here, just to kind of feel into this rotation of your hip as well. It moves it into an internal rotation, it's quite deep, and bring it back. So as long as your right knee stays grounded, you can even take your right hand on top of the knee to help push your knee down through this. Good, now take your hands behind you, roll it over towards the left side. Okay, same thing, your hands will frame your legs and then pull your left hip back and up. or I think I reverse this, whatever your back leg is here, pull it back and up. I try to mirror you when I'm facing you, but now I get confused because when I flow, I do it the way you would do it. So whatever this back leg is, pull this hip down and up. I think I said this was the left. Okay, so this would be your right hip. <laughs> I'm just kind of feeling into that rotation and maybe you're super tight here, which is normal, totally normal. And this feels really challenging or kind of funky, pun intended. So just stay with it. Two, one. Good, and bring yourself over. Okay, we'll say this is the right. Now you're going to take your right leg forwards and your left knee back, making this a little bit wider and coming into a little bit of a 90-90 shape. Now you'll take your hands to heart center and pull the left hip back. So we're just adding into the space here. You're gonna press your right leg down as much as you can. If you need your hands behind you for extra support or you feel like you can't hold yourself up like this, then it's fine. Use your hands to give yourself extra support. If you have it, maybe it's one hand down, maybe it's no hands, but this time we are twisting our torso a little bit more and really feeling like this back hip is melting into the ground while the front leg is pushing. Okay, bring it back, 
pull back and center back and center two one beautiful bring it over to the other side left shin and knee in a 90 degree shape back knee and shin 90 degree shape okay hands can go behind you one hand up and then same thing so really pressing your legs into the ground being very mindful of this movement here the best that you can there's no like good or bad in this this is if you've never done functional mobility movement this is going to be very challenging or very strange for you so do the best that you can drive that front knee down beautiful bring yourself back and lift yourself into a tabletop uh, step your right foot forwards and bring your hands on top of your thigh now if you back knee is uh need a little extra cushion fold your mat up you're going to bring your hand on top of your right leg create those 90 degree shapes tuck your tailbone down feel the stretch on your left hip flexor here and then point your tailbone back so everything else super stable you're just working this in your pelvis and yeah you can take your right hand to your low back if that helps you feel into the space a little bit more two one beautiful switch sides take your right knee down left foot forwards you can fold your mat up tailbone tucks feel the stretch first on the right hip flexor and then point it back tuck and back and if it helps your left hand can go to your low back just to kind of feel into it and as you tuck squeeze your legs in towards each other feel your front foot press down as your back knee pulls forwards two one beautiful take your hand down step forwards easy forward fold soften into your knees melt your chest towards your thighs hang your head shake your head yes shake your head no release any tension here and then roll yourself up and bring your hands to heart center on your inhale sweep your arms up on your exhale soften and fold it down hands to your shins gaze forwards plant your palms step your left foot back and your left knee down inhale take your arms up tuck your tailbone under point your tailbone back tuck your tailbone under point it back tuck it under keep it under pull your belly up and in take your right knee back to meet your left point your tailbone back tuck it under feel that point your tailbone back tuck it under point your tailbone back tuck it under squeeze your inner thighs reach your hands forwards lean back slightly and lift back up keep your lower belly hugging in lean back slightly and up really pressing your knees down lean back slightly and up one more and up beautiful hands come down to the ground lift your hips up and back downward facing dog shake it out pedal your legs move your hips bring yourself forward towards a plank pose lower all the way down release your toes cobra just stretch out through your front body watch your shoulders move them away from your ears peel your chest up squeeze your glutes your inner thighs exhale downward facing dog lift your heels and walk your feet forwards to the front of your mats hands to your shins halfway exhale soften and fold roll all the way up arms go up to the sky exhale hands to heart center arms sweep up through your inhale exhale bend and fold inhale hands to your shins plant your palms slide your left right leg back yes right knee down arms go up tailbone points back tuck it under 
point it back and under back under one more back under keep it tucked pull your lower belly in as you slide your left knee back point your tailbone back tuck it under tailbone back tuck under back and tuck keep that tuck lower belly lift reach your hands forwards lean it back and up like you are a nice uh what is this like a plank board that you're super straight and lift two lift one up beautiful hands come down downward facing dog pulling your hips up and back take a moment pedal your legs shift your weight forwards towards your plank pose lower all the way down peel up to your cobra rolling your shoulders back giving yourself the space exhale bring it into a table top position so with your hands underneath your shoulders point your tailbone back tuck it underneath point your tailbone back tuck it underneath really feel that spatial awareness for your pelvis beautiful keep it tucked push away from the ground extend your right leg back bend your right knee take your right knee out to the side bring more weight into your right hand lift the knee up a little higher bring your right knee down to tap your left pull it back up bring it down lift it up and down up and down one more up and down right knee comes back keep your tailbone tucked lower belly lifts extend your left leg back bend your knee take your knee out to the side more weight into your left hand pull your belly up and in tap your knee down and lift it up bring it down and up more weight into the left and up two keep your shoulders level one and up bring both knees down lift yourself up tuck your tailbone under as you squeeze your knees in towards each other reach your hands forwards lean it back and up lean it back and up squeezing your glutes lean it back and up one more lean it back and up hands to heart center lift your chest keep your tailbone tucked pull your belly up and in feel your heart reach up to the sky and just bring your gaze up notice i'm not in a deep back bend i'm just trying to find the lift through my front body by feeling this more neutral spine creating more space for myself pulling up out of my hips and then exhale bring it down into downward facing dog inhale through your nose open your mouth exhale lift your heels and walk your feet forwards hands to your shins halfway up exhale fold it down roll it all the way up arms sweep up to the sky hands come to heart center okay sit into your chair pose you can keep one hand onto your belly one hand to your low back find your chair okay now the normal cue is tailbone tucks and this sometimes offers an overcorrection where you're rounding your spine we're really looking for a more neutral spine so you just want to feel right now your pelvis moving forwards and back and then can you find the neutrality of your spine squeezing your lower ribs in sit a little bit deeper reach your hands up towards the sky pull your lower belly up and in inhale exhale sit a little bit lower on your inhale squeeze your heels in come up to stand keep the tailbone slightly pointed down lift your chest up and back bring it up to center exhale chair pose again find the neutrality in your spine lower ribs squeeze in take a breath in exhale sit a little bit deeper inhale exhale sit a little deeper on your inhale come up to stand squeeze your glutes lift your heart up keep your tailbone pointing down create the space through your front body bring it back up to center 
Exhale, sit a little bit lower. Finding your chair, feeling your tailbone point down, lower rib squeeze in, belly up. It's a little bit lower, a little bit lower, a little bit lower. And then inhale, squeeze your glutes, point your tailbone down, lift up through heart center, pull up and back. And this is all very mindful movements to help you move through camel pose when we get there later in the month. And pull yourself up to center. Exhale, soften and fold forwards. Shake your head yes, shake your head no. So we're giving ourselves the awareness to trust ourselves a little bit more. When you're ready, step it back to downward facing dog, pulling your hips up and back. Let's bring our right leg forwards and your left leg to point back for a pigeon pose. Now I'm gonna offer up, if you want extra space, take your hands to the blocks. You can always just go tops of your fingertips. Hands are right in front of your right leg and your right leg does not need to be parallel. You're gonna keep it at a slight angle. Just flex your right foot, tuck your back toes and lift your back knee up. So I'm gonna kick back through my left heel, squeeze my left butt cheek and push away from the ground, finally like a baby cobra, not a baby cobra, a cobra pose through your pigeon and then exhale, peel your chest forwards. Inhale to lift up. Exhale to peel it forwards. Inhale to lift up. Exhale, peel it forwards. Now rest your knee down, your toes down. Come into your pigeon pose. If you need a block underneath your hips, that's available. Taking the time to lengthen your spine, point back through the toes as the crown of your head reaches forwards. And I'll slowly walk back up onto your hands. Tuck your back toes and slide your left knee in. Take your right knee back. Point back through your tailbone, tuck it underneath. Point back through your tailbone, tuck it underneath. Just loosening up into your pelvis. One more. Good, and now let's come into the left side. Left leg will extend, shift the left leg, bring it forward towards pigeon pose. And then extend your right leg back. So I'm gonna show it this round with my hands on the ground, tops of your fingertips, push away from the ground, lift your back knee up and kick back through your right heel. Inhale to lift, exhale, bend your elbows and pull your chest forwards. Inhale, push away, lift up, exhale, bring it forwards. Inhale to lift, exhale, bring it forward. One more. Exhale, release. Now resting your right knee and toes down, settling into your pigeon pose. Feeling your hips melt, crown of your head reaches forwards, pressing back through your back knee and front shin. Stay with your breath. Last two. And let's walk our hands back up. Bring it back into your tabletop. Full rounds of cat and cow. Inhale into your cow. Exhale into your cat. Notice how much looser your lower back feels in this moment, how your hips feel in this moment. So we didn't do like a crazy flow today. We just brought so much awareness to our body and to the spaces that we often carry a lot of tension in. And so let's set yourself up and come into a nice seated position. And you're gonna take a pillow or a block, whichever one you want, and sit onto that pillow or block. Cross-legged seated, wherever feels best, and give yourself as much space as you need. And the same thing here, point your tailbone back, tuck it under. Point it back, tuck it underneath. 
Point it back, tuck it under. Two, one. Okay, now find the neutral spine where you're just resting on your sit bones. And then notice where you are in space. Like if your shoulders are leaning forwards, then you're gonna start to point your tailbone back, moving into that anterior tilt of your pelvis. And if your shoulders are leaning far back, then you're gonna point your tailbone under, moving into this posterior tilt. So find where the neutral spine is, your neutral spine is, so that you can stack your shoulders directly over your hips and just find the stability and stillness here. Allowing yourself to sit up nice and tall, to give yourself space, and ultimately we come to our practice we do the asanas, we do everything physically so we can be still. So we can have the clarity in our mind, so we can trust ourselves and accept what is. I invite you to stay here in a seated meditation for another two to three minutes, bringing yourself into a place of balance, ease and peace. Thank you so much for sharing your time and energy with me. I'll see you on the next class.